everyone and welcome to another Motivation Monday. So today, I would like to talk about the pandemic and coping with it. A lot of people have lost family members. You know, it's, it's a very traumatic experience. Some people lost three to five family members or more. You know, the, for the people who haven't lost anyone, we're, we're truly blessed. And for the people who lost family members that are in another country, um, people who are immigrants as myself, it's even more traumatizing because you lost a family member, but you're unable to go to the funeral. You understand? So my heart goes out to you all. And for the people who are in this country and have no ties, you know, outside the Caribbean islands or what, or other countries or whatnot. Please, please count your blessings that you're able to see your family if you live in the same house with them. At least you could see them. And if you live close by, you know, even with social distances, you could at least probably go visit your relatives and stay at a distance from them, but still see their face. There are people who live in different states, and one state can't leave and go to the other state. So yesterday in particular was rough on many people because they weren't able to spend a day with their moms. You know what I mean? And if you're, you're accustomed to taking care of your mom or cooking a meal or taking her out to lunch or dinner or whatnot, a lot of people weren't able to do that due to the situation. However, many um, states are and countries are considering, you know, taking off the, the ban, so to speak, and go back to their regular lives, um, please be cautious because the economy, you know, has tanked and a lot of people are more concerned, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, yours could, you know, vary, this is my opinion, a lot of government officials, in my opinion, are eager to open back the countries or states for financial gain because you know a lot of people are you know businesses have closed down and whatnot and the you know the economy is taking a hit so a lot of people are willing to open back businesses you know so people could start back making money and paying taxes and whatever however if the problem is not resolved they haven't come to the root of it you know it's not under control in my opinion some places have a lower rate you know than others but yet and still they're considering opening up a lot of states whether the the number is low or high like a few couple of weeks ago was it they opened back i believe it was atlanta and the numbers are still high there and then i saw a video where people were lined up to buy jordans and my thought is i know i'm not in the 20 something age range but even when i was that age i didn't think like that i thought as an older person even when I was a teenager, I thought as an older person, I guess I have an old soul. So my question was, the, the, the um, death toll is high, the numbers are skyrocketing daily, and you're in a line cl in close proximity to other people, no social distances, distancing, forgive me, waiting to buy a pair of sneakers, so your life, is not worth anything but a pair of Jordans. This is what I'm trying to say. I love Michael Jordan, don't get me wrong. But if something should happen to you, is he going to, you know, take care of you or whatever? These kits that's supposed to be, you know, helping save lives, so to speak, we don't know if that's true or not. It's just a way to make money. A lot of people are privy to this. People in positions of power and wealth are more privy to these kits than regular everyday folk, as Cardi B would say, regular, regular, regular people. You know what I mean? So you're willing to put your life at risk for a pair of sneakers. So if you should catch the virus, you will be in the hospital bed with the sneakers or are they going to bury you in the sneakers? I know sometimes my mind goes too far, but I can't help myself. I think it's ridiculous, but hey, it's your, it's your life. At any rate, getting back to the topic at hand, I digress. Uh, getting back to the topic. 
Please be careful, not because a, a city or a country lifts its ban, mean all is well with the world and you go out there with no mask and you're so happy to be back out and you decide to go clubbing and all of this. It's not worth it. You see the amount of people that lose loved ones. Some people weren't able to celebrate Mother's Day because they lost their mom like a few days or weeks ago. You know, um, so is it worth it? So that you're so bored in the house that you're so eager to go outside with no mask and go back to your regular life. This situation is still not under control. They haven't found a cure or anything. So, you know, think of the long term and not just the moment. Yes, you're bored being in the house, aren't we all? Okay? But to me, I mean, I spend more time in the house than I guess most people. Um, anyway, so I guess it doesn't... Yes, it it, it bothers me to a point because that even if I'm in the house most of the time, when I feel like going outside, I do. Even if it could be one day for the month, but when I feel like going outside, I do. I go to my appointments and then I pick up anything I have to pick up while I'm outside. I get some food, I go to the 9 and store, whatever. So yes, there's days I felt like going outside and couldn't go. Then there are people who are uh, used to being outside every day. So they're like, oh my God, it's almost two months or whatever. And I've been in the house, I'm losing my mind. And I understand that it's understandable, but you rather to, you know, have, have your health and strength or you rather to just be able to go outside and take your chances? This is my question. So, you know, be safe. Be safe. Be cautious. Okay, take all the necessary precautions. Don't be so eager to just run out there all willy-nilly and not think about the consequences, the repercussions and consequences to everything in life. So weigh the scale before you think of going out there. I can't stop you from going out there, you know what I mean? But at least if you're going out there, be safe. It's similar to what you would say to a child. I don't think you should be having, you know, intercourse or whatever, but I can't stop you. If you're going to do it, at least be safe. So this is the same concept. I cannot stop you. But please, please, be safe. And it's not just for you, because you're eager to go outside. And then you're going to come in contact with other people, whether it's strangers, whether it's your family, your kids, whatever. After you go outside and put yourself at risk, you're not putting yourself alone at risk. I was listening to, to, to a story where some guy, I believe it was Hong Kong, went into a club. He went into three clubs in one night. And there's a possibility he, inf he infected 55,000 people, I think it was. My question really is, did these people wear masks or not? I didn't, I didn't catch the whole thing. I just heard the piece of the end, you know? So were these people so happy to go clubbing that they did not wear a mask? He didn't wear one. So did they not wear a mask either? This is my question. And if they didn't, it goes back to, to you know, to seal what I'm saying, to give relevance to what I'm saying. Yes, you're bored, you're tired, you're frustrated, whatever, and you're eager to go outside, but is it worth your life? Because if they have to be contacting all these people that went to that, those clubs to, to get them tested, like, and I heard that test is not fun, it's painful and whatever. I could do without it, quite personally. Are you looking forward to that test? So uh, please, people, be cautious. And value your life and the life of others. Okay? And to all the people that lost a family member or a few in the last couple of months, my deepest sympathy. Okay? May they rest in peace. May God give you the strength to cope with the loss of your relatives, especially not being able to be at the funeral for those who were in another country or, you know, state or whatever and they weren't able to go. And even if in some cases, there is a funeral. The funeral is limited, you know, because you can't, can't have a lot of people gathering in one place. So either way, it's, you know, it's sad. It's painful, you know. So um, try to have a, a good week. Blessed Monday, guys. Um, love you all. See you in another video. Smooches.